Hello and welcome to Wednesday's English session. So today we are going to start writing our discussion text that we planned for yesterday. Um, so as a starter, can you remember what each of the shapes mean that are on the screen in front of you? We looked at them yesterday. Can you remember what they mean? Pause the video and have a think. Okay, so today we are only going to be writing part of our uh, discussion text. We're going to be writing the first three paragraphs. So we're going to write the introduction to our discussion. We're going to write one for paragraph and one against paragraph. Okay, so we're not going to write the whole thing. So it's going to be short little bursts of writing like we usually do in school. So our question is, should school uniform be banned? So at the top of your page, you need to write that as a title. Um, it's a question because we're discussing it. So make sure you've got a question mark on the top on the end. And then we are going to write an introductory paragraph. OK, and now this paragraph needs to explain what um, your discussion is going to be about. It might give a little teaser into some of the arguments. It might give some statistics like how many schools wear school uniform. Now, you might want to do some research for this or you might want to just make it up and say 75 percent of all schools have school uniform. It's up to you. We're thinking more about the structure of it today um, rather than the facts. But if you want to make sure you're 100% factual, then you can do some research on school uniform on the internet before you get started. So to start you off, I have given you an example sentence. So there have been many debates in schools about whether or not children should be required to wear school uniform. So that starts us off on our introductory sentence. You, so you've got my sentence. You have also on the web page underneath this video got the example discussion about homework that I have saved and put up there still for you today. So you can grab some sentence starters bits from there, um, follow the sort of structure of that. There is also underneath that a um, document with lots of different sentence starters that are specific for discussion that you can use at any point today to get your sentences, your paragraph started. Um, so. Your first paragraph, it's up to you how long you uh, make it, as long as it is clear and introduces what's going to be happening in the discussion. So have a pause of the video and then write that first paragraph and then come back when you are ready and done. OK, so we've got a paragraph that introduces. So the next paragraph, so a whole new paragraph, so you need to make sure that you're leaving a line, is going to be a four paragraph. Now, in this paragraph, you are going to put an argument forward, a fully explained argument. Maybe you're going to make more than one point about why school uniform should be banned. So we are for it in this paragraph. We think that it should be banned. So you need to use your notes from yesterday that you came up with um, to help you because you should have come up with lots of different points from there. And you're going to put them together in a paragraph. Now, remember, we have got what we're going to be writing tomorrow. We've got, we've got another um, four paragraph. And so that should be um, you should spread your ideas between them. So don't use all your ideas up in this one paragraph because you've got another paragraph that you need to argue for as well. As an example, starting sentence, I have started my sentence with a statistic that I've completely made up. So statistics show that over 90% of schools in the UK insist on children wearing a school uniform. So you could start your four paragraph off with a statistic. You do not have to. You could have a look at the example, should homework be banned um, discussion text and see how they've started it off. You can start it off however you like. And so pause the video, use all the resources on the website to help you with this paragraph and then come back when you've written your full paragraph. OK, and the final bit of writing that we are going to do is our first against paragraph. So again, we need a new paragraph for this. So leave a line. And this is going to give an alternate view. So you're going on the other hand, you are mixing it up. You need to make it really clear on this paragraph that it is completely against or the complete opposite of the one that you've just written. So for this one, you might want to dip into the um, sentence starters um, discussion sentence starters document on the website to give you some ideas on how you can start a paragraph making it clear that it is going to give the opposite view. So I've started mine with alternatively because that's giving an alternate view to the first one that I've made my four, four points for. So alternatively 
some people believe that school uniforms are detrimental to children's well-being so that's a strong powerful starting sentence again you can have a look at the should homework be banned one to give you some structure to give you some um tips but on this paragraph you're going to do the first against so you're going to look at your against plan from yesterday and put those, some of those points into a paragraph remember we're going to do another against paragraph tomorrow so don't use up all your ideas in one make sure that you are fully explaining your points and you're really backing them up so pause the video and then have a go at writing your third and final paragraph okay so that is all we are going to write for today what i am going to say is to make sure that you are checking your punctuation and your spelling make sure that you've got your capital letters in your full stops and um, if you've got any colons or semicolons make sure you're using them properly um because if you check this bit these three paragraphs then you don't have so much to check when you write the next bits tomorrow okay so um that's all we're going to write today make sure it's all checked and it is perfect and then join me tomorrow to write the remaining three paragraphs of our discussion <laughs>